Hey everybody, in this next video I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, an AC light B12 volt DC. Uh, I've noticed online a lot of forums and on uh, a lot of the Facebook groups for solar, hey you, you could use a converter or you could uh, step your voltage down. or It's too complicated, don't do that. You could buy a converter and step it up, step it down. You could use, and this is the one that really gets my goat, is use an inverter to drive your lights. Well, an inverter uses 20% power to do its thing. So right out of the gate, you're losing 20% 20, 20 inefficiency when you really don't need to do that. So I've done two additions to my cabin. The first time I did it, I just used 12 volt uh, RV lights. They work great. But they're kind of they're kind of showing their age already, just after two years. So I, the, for the new edition, I want to go more residential. But I don't want to pay the price and there's really not that much out there. So I'm about to do my porch light this weekend and I thought, you know, this would be a good opportunity to show y'all how you can convert a AC light to DC. So I'm going to go through what we need, then I'm going to turn the camera off, bring the camera closer and show you how to build this thing. What you need though for tools is pretty simple. You need a pair of diagonal pliers, a pair of wire strippers, red tape don't have to have it but I'm going to show you why this is nice. Black tape and wire nuts. Now you need, I got this pack of lights from uh, wish.com. They're just 12 volt strip light waterproof. They come four to a pack. And then you need what I'm doing here. I'm doing a porch light. So here's the porch light and the globe that goes into it. And I paid $7 for the box. I had the wire nuts laying around, and I think for the lights, I paid $250. And the shipping was dirt, dirt cheap. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm less than 10 bucks into this lot. So uh, next scene, I'm just going to get the camera close and show you how to do it. This is a good way to save money. This is a good way to have a nice-looking product on your cabin, even your house, or however you want to mount it, and not be out a lot. And one of my goals is, is to make my lighting look residential. Uh, although I'm off grid and yeah I'm using solar I want it to look like it's not I mean that's just a little higher step on making things look quality and if, if everything feels normal and what you're used to it actually makes it more livable too so uh, I'm gonna walk up turn the camera off and uh, we'll go to the next scene all right through the magic of television we're now on the other scene here so I'm gonna show you a little trick that I've learned one of the things you need, you need a, a 9 volt battery, and here's why. These are cheap lights. Uh, the quality control is not on, is not that very good. So I make sure the polarity is right. I've had some of these lights, I didn't think that they worked. Then I checked them, re reversed the wires, well, yeah, they work. So uh, I'm going to go to the positive side of the 9 volt battery and the negative side. See, I got light. I do this to every light to make sure it works so and it works so what I'm doing here I want to walk you through it I've got that those pack of lights remember they came in four packs I'm just going to combine them up red to red black to black twist them together I've already stripped them out and now black to black and I'm a little bit paranoid because I'd want to do this right the first time I'm going to hook it up to the, the battery again. I got a lot. I like doing this before I hook everything up. That way I just know everything works. Alright, so here's where the diagonal pliers come in. I'm going to cut the white wire here. And I'm going to cut the black wire. Alright, this is a pet peeve of mine. This white wire with DC you got red and black, right? Just like your car battery just like your booster cable. So I get this red tape and I put it on this white wire. I like knowing it's red. Alright, now I'll get the strippers. Strip it out. And I'll, I'll show you why I'm doing it here. Splices are actually bad. The less splices you have, the better, but I've got a reason I'm doing it at two, two places, and I'll show you here in a minute. So I take the orange wire nut, remember black to black, 
twist them together. Now the wire nut. And here's the thing you need to do for outside lights. When you hear, I don't know if you heard it, that wire nut a click, and that means it's tight enough. So now I get some electrical tape. And I go around this wire nut one more time. It helps keep some of the moisture out. It also locks that wire nut down in case there's any vibration. Just break it. Done. Alright, now red to red, right? We made this a red wire now with the red tape and if anybody ever has to go behind you you did them a nice favor by letting them know that you changed the color of that wire okay tape it one more time you just click I use the red tape wrap it up and I'll flag this tape, this wire one more time with red tape. All right. Okay. I don't worry about it too much. I stuff these wires down in this globe. Just take my time. Let's cram them in there. It's a set screw here. And the reason I spliced it here in the light, let me point to it, I spliced in the light is because if this is on the wall, now I don't have to take this thing off the wall to work on it again. So now I'm going to put red tape on this white wire. I got monkey hands. Alright, we got a red wire now. Now let's test it one more time. Remember black to black? White to white. So let me get this out of the way. You can see it. Get that out of the way. There we go for the camera. Alright. Let's see if it works. And I gotta hold my mouth right here. We got a lot. Ta da! And just like that, you've got you a nice porch lot. And I'm less than 10 bucks in it. If you wanted to, you could pretty all this up in here. I really don't care about it. It's uh, another thing. This is cheaper than the compact fluorescent. I see a lot of people driving this off the off their inverter this is just a lot better way to go so folks that's it I'm gonna get this up to the camera real close I got this on Lowe's.com just an outdoor port slot a pair of cheap pliers so once again this is it this is the final product just put it on here let's just test, test it one more time hands are terrible and we got life you see that so like I said this is just quick simple easy video I want to put out there for y'all so you can try to save some money this is just a, an easy way like I said an easy way to do it there's no inverter needed red to red white to black I don't need any converters and I don't need any any kind of electronic device anything like that it's simple this is another reason I only use 12 volt systems uh, you could have 48 you could have 24 I don't want any of that I want to keep this as simple as I can I want it to work I want it easy to troubleshoot and I want to go with the cheapest thing I can because I want to spend money on something else there's always money for something else and something always pops up so I really appreciate you watching this video it's a like I said just a quick video I want to throw out there uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up 
and uh, please subscribe and I really appreciate you watching and uh, God bless. Take care.